a whole bunch of pirates and cutthroats have been captured and put in a three-room jail. In the first cell, one-third are pirates. In the second cell, three-quarters are pirates. In the last cell, two-thirds are pirates. Overall in the jail, one-half of the inmates are pirates. Your job is to find a possible solution, a possible number of pirates and cutthroats to put in each cell so that this is true. How might we go about that? Well, one example might be that we could say that CCP, cutthroat, cutthroat, pirate, would go in the first cell. That satisfies the request that one third of those in the first cell are pirates. In the second cell, we could put CPPP. That means that there's one cutthroat and three pirates. And in the last cell, CPP. So this looks good. We've satisfied all of the individual cell requirements. Unfortunately, we have not satisfied that the whole population of the, of the whole jail is equally pirates and cutthroats. Here there's more pirates than cutthroats. So this didn't work. How can we solve this? Well, one way is that we could use algebra. We could say that there's x copies of CCP, y copies of CPP, P, and z copies of CPP. Now, um, that's always going to satisfy the requirements of the rooms. Notice that if I take um, x is equal to 2, well, that room is now going to hold four cutthroats and two pirates. That's still one-third pirate. If x is equal to 5, well, that's going to be 10 cutthroats and five pirates. That's still one-third pirate. So this uh, use of algebra allows us to preserve what we want, that is, we want each of these room conditions to be true, and then to experiment to see if we can't find a way to make the overall jail satisfy the requirement that one half are pirates and one half cutthroats. So let's see, how many pirates do we have total? Well, we have x plus 3y plus 2z. That's our number of pirates. The total number of inmates is equal to 3x plus 4y plus 3z. Now, let's take the fraction, the ratio of those two, and it has to be equal to 1 half. So that is the fraction in the, in the jail as a whole is going to be 1 half. So that is x plus 3y plus 2z divided by 3x plus 4y plus 3z is equal to 1 half. Okay, let's multiply. Grouping like terms, we have 2y plus z is equal to x. So now I'm going to go back to the problem and I'm going to replace x by 2y plus z. There we go. Now is this still going to be true for this first jail cell? Yeah, it doesn't matter what y and z is, there's still going to be that ratio of one third in that first jail cell. So can we go any further to solve the problem? Well, in fact, we've solved it now. We can choose y and z to be anything that we want. Well, we probably don't want negative people in a room, so we probably want to make y and z zero or positive. So let's take uh, y and z equal to one. That's going to be the simplest solution that has at least one person in every room. And that's going to give us three CCP in that first jail cell, and then 1CPPP in the second jail cell, and in the last jail cell we're going to have CPP. So that's one solution. You can verify it. Is it true? Is the one-third true? Yes. Is the three-quarters true? Yes. Is the two-thirds true? Yes. Is the one-half true? Well, how many cutthroats do we have? We've got six, seven, eight. How many pirates do we have? Three plus three, six, seven, eight. So it works. You can choose y and z to be anything. So let's say that we choose z is equal to 2 now. That's the solution. Let's choose y is equal to 2 and z is equal to 1. That's the solution. 
there's a little bit of algebra to solve your jail problems. Now it's your turn to experiment. We're going to keep the conditions for each individual cell the same, and I'm changing the conditions for the jail as a whole. So this jail, two-fifths of the inmates must be pirates. Solve it. In this jail, three-fifths of the inmates must be pirates. In this jail, four-fifths of the inmates must be pirates. And for the last one, I'm keeping the four-fifths the same, but I'm changing the fractions in each of the jail cells to six-sevenths, one-quarter, and one-half. Now, one of those four problems is impossible. So, you still have to try it out and find out why is it impossible. Good luck. You might like to explore this problem more deeply. Here we have a puzzle where there's one sixth in the two leftmost jail cells that are pirates, one quarter in the rightmost jail cells, one third in the uppermost jail cells, and one fifth in the lower jail cells that are pirates. Obviously a tougher problem. 